Zarathustra is said to have married Havovi, the daughter of Frashistra, a senior courtier at Vitishva's court, and had by her three sons and three daughters. The marriages of his youngest daughter, Porachista, is celebrated in the last Gata. Zarathustra is described as being active in propagating the faith. He died a violent death at the age of 77 years while at prayer in the fire temple of Bulk Kabul, being killed by a hostile border chief, Tor Bara Tur. Turning back to the Gadas, we learn from the Greek historian Pliny, who relied on the authority of Hermippus, c. 200 BC, the Zarathustra composed one million lines of verse. For only a fragment of 17 hymns divided into five gatas survives. <clears throat> the gatas form part of the yasna, a liturgical text of 72 chapters or haiti. The gatic sections are as follows. Gata Ahunavedi, yasna, 28-34, the gata of free choice. Gata Ushtavedi, yasna 43-46, the gata of bliss and enlightenment. Gata Spenta Menu, Yasna 47 through 50, the Gata of the Holy Spirit. Gata Vahu Kastra, Yasna 51, the Gata of Sovereignty or the Good Kingdom. Gata Vahistoisti, Yasna 53, the Gata of the Highest Wish or Fulfillment. Between the first and the second Gata was placed the Yasna. Hertan Haiti, the Yasna of seven chapters, Yasna 35 through 41, in the Gothic dialect, and in the poetic prose composed by the Gata community, early followers of the prophet after his death. Yasna 42 is a brief supplement, a fragment of much later date, and it has no connection with the Gatas or Yasna. Hatan Haiti, Hatan Yash, between the fourth and the fifth Gatas comes Yasna 52. A brief chapter describing the physical, mental, and spiritual elements which make up the personality of every individual. See Body and Glossary. Zarathustra was familiar with the Vedas. He knew how to compose magic verses filled with meaning. He seems to be aware of the Asuras, high gods of truth and justice, before they were demonized in the later Hindu text. He may have pondered over the Vedic word Meta. Wisdom, Ahu, in a vestum, signifies the indestructible life essence of Ahura, the living one. And Ahura Mazda, the living lord of life and wisdom. He has neither beginning nor end. He is, he lives in Anagra Rakel, everlasting light. He chose to create. Ahura Mazda's first thought blazed into myriads of sparks of light and filled the entire heavens. He himself, in his wisdom, is the creator of truth which upholds his supreme mind. Yasna 31.7 When I held you in my mind's eye, then I realized you, O Mazda, as the first and the last of for all eternity, as the father of good mind, the true creator of truth, the Lord over the actions of life. Yasna 31.8 Thus was born Gedish, the physical world, and Menage, the mental world, to this day, we live in this combined world of matter and spirit. Both are sacred. Moreover, Ahura Mazda guides man, nature, and the cosmos through his six powers which emanate from him. These are Asha, Vedic Rita, Cosmic Order, Truth, Justice, Bohu Mana, the Good Mind, no equivalent in any of the revealed religions or the Vedas. Kashatra, Vedic Shatra, Sovereignty, Power, Kingdom. Armeti, Vedic Armeti, devotion, love, piety, zeal. Twins, Harvatat, Vedic Sarvatat, healthful being, perfection. Ameritat, Vedic Ameritat, immortality. The twins have been compared to the Vedic Hashvins or Nasatyas, the twin horsemen who ride the beautiful white horses, their manes flying against the blue skies. These handsome youths hold in their hands Madhavida, the sweet honey, knowledge, or divinity, which they bring down to earth. This gift makes old men young again, and blind men see. No wonder Zarathustra makes the Gothic twins, perfection and immortality, dwell in the dazzling light of Ahura Mazda's wisdom. Yasna 33, 9. 
For it is through the honey sweet knowledge of divinity that perfection and immortality can be attained. Closely associated with Harvatat and Emeritat are the Tavishi and Utayuiti, respectively. Tavishi or Tavashi in the Vedas is basically naked power. Hence, Zarathustra uses the word in Yajna 29 1. As the brutality shown towards cattle by the society of his day. In Yajna 3312, however, Tavishi is given a totally different meaning. Here, the word signifies a moral courage and ardent desire for spiritual attainment. In post Vedic text, Tavishi is associated with Kama Manas, the desire mind. This longing can seek fulfillment by striving towards the divine, or it can degenerate into bestiality. Who can now understand why Zarathustra uses the identical word, Tavishi, to signify the one time brutality and a, another, the longing for perfection? I quote Arise within me, O Hura, and fulfill my ardent desire for perfection through unflinching devotion. Yasna 33.3312. 